I'm Rebecca, and this is my husband Brandon. We run Trinity Valley along with my parents, Ken and Sue Poole. The dairy started in the early 1900s. My great-grandfather, Otis, uh, ran the farm, and it's passed on through the generations now. Our children are now the fifth generation here. The first 80 years of the dairy farm here was pretty much cropping and uh, milking cows. And then in 2013, Brandon and I got married, and he was working as an electrician on the railroad, and I was a registered nurse. And we decided we wanted to raise our kids here on the farm, and we knew that our size farm couldn't justify two families. So we knew we needed to diversify and do something else in order to keep the farm s sustainable. So that's when we decided to start bottling milk. We were able to buy a, an existing processing plant down in South Carolina, and we moved it up here and we started Trinity Valley. As we grew, I had to do more sales and such, so we started hitting the pavement. We got into Wegmans, Tops, local stores around central New York um, with our fluid milk. And then as time went on, we got into cheese, so we now make cheese curd. And then every year we just try to add or uh, expand a little bit more so that we can um, sustainably do it and not grow too fast that we can't handle it. It's amazing how many kids there are that have no clue where their food comes from. So we've kind of felt like it's one of our responsibilities, duties we feel called to, to be able to educate the public on where, where their dairy products comes from. So one of the great things about bringing the school groups out is I get to explain to them why our milk is different from the general grocery store milk that they're going to see on the shelves. The main reason is our milk is low temp pasteurized. We only heat it high enough to kill the bacteria in the milk, not the enzymes. When it's heated above 145, all the enzymes are destroyed and then there's nothing to help break down the sugars that are naturally found in milk. And that's why there's so many people that are lactose intolerant in today's society is because milk is over pasteurized. Community is being, being there for one another in the area that you live. People are, have been here for us throughout the years and it's our job to give back. And how we give back is by offering a place for people to come to have fun. Or we do so many donations of milk for events. And um, they're small ways, but just to be there for the community is... I know that we care. Mm -hmm. so. Seeing happy customers, like, you know, having people say, you know, we love your product, or watching kids come out and run around on the farm, or when someone walks in the store and tells me like, this place just feels so different. That is what keeps us going, is knowing that it realigns with what we feel like God is telling us to do, and those are the times that we feel the best, like, okay, we're on the right track, this is what brings us joy, is, is seeing the joy in other people.